Hello everyone, welcome back to the Illust Illuminator. So just a quick update for all of you out there. Rich Love and I have decided to do a collaboration together. Yay! We are going to do the He Said She Said spread together. We wanted to do this actually on a live, but technically it might not be quite possible. But maybe if we figure out how, or if any of you have any idea how, maybe you can drop a comment about that. Anyhow, we we are going to do it based on soulmates or like masculine and feminine energies. So we will try to record it and hopefully by Friday it will be out there for you guys. So keep that in mind and check it out. The second thing is about the mid months. I have decided to do a, a short version of the he said she said spread. As you guys know, my mid months have always been short. So I want to do a short cut of the he said she said spread because I like the flow of going into the extended. As many of you know, I really go deep in the, in the extended and I like the flow of you know knowing where to go deep in. So I am going to do it like that for the mid months as well and some of you, you might be very happy for that. But when it comes to the life path and career readings, I am going to still perform that but at the end of the month based on the four elements. So check that out and yes, let's get into the reading. Thank you. Hello Leo, welcome back. Let's see what we got for you for mid-month. As I was meditating on your energy, I just felt a very vibrant energy. Like I got I got just very excited. I was like, Leo, Leo, Leo. I was like, okay, what's going on? I was like, very exciting for your reading. So I hope it is going to be positive. Most of the readings were quite heavy. All right, everyone has been quite upside down. We got the devil card here. Ooh. All right, let's see what are the messages for Leo. So what I feel like I want to say, even though things are not going in, in the right way, just try to be as positive as possible. You know, try to laugh, try to dance, try to sing, just try to, you know, bring up the vibration, all right? Like bring it up, whatever it is. Let's see. Hair. Bye. <laughs> okay. See? I think, yeah, I like it. I like, oh, no, I, I don't like it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Nine of swords in the reverse. Then we got the nine of cups. All right. Then we got the queen of wands in the reverse. I was hoping that this was upright and that, that kind of like brings me back to the point where you need to be positive where you need to be like very light and try to bring your vibration up because you 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 probably have a lot of stress on your mind and is really weighing you down to see things all from the negative perspective all right like you can't seem to bring your vibration up so leo that's your card and got the four of pentacles reverse and the and the High Priestess, that's a lot of cards here, <laughs> for God's sake, that's a lot of cards, but I guess that you, you're you really in this, like you're coming out of this dark night of the soul, alright, like there are things that were really tormenting your mind, like you had restless, like you were sleeping, restless, restless night, a lot of nightmares, a lot of stress and a lot of worry and could be due to some kind of a wish, like you really want something really, really bad, like you've put all your hopes in it and that's when when Leo's or any fire sign can get like um, very demotivated when it's not, when you're not getting what you wanted, when, when you miss miss to reach out for something and you're like ah oh, shoot I, I i i i was so close and it was like ah oh, no it did not happen and then you and you were already in this stressful situation or you were already so much like you you were already so much in a worrying state that something does not go in your favor and you're just like all right you know i'm demotivated i don't want to work on this like the F to it, like, uh, I, don't, I don't want it, you know, and it, it really brings down your confidence, it, it brings down your, kind of like almost your self-esteem because you had all your hopes on, on, on that particular thing and 
it seems to me that you're holding like this is quite a fixed sign attitude as well with this four of pentacles it means that you are holding very tightly to, to, to some kind of an outcome, some kind of a situation. And when we hold on very, very tightly to like, this needs to go in that direction and then I'll be happy, that's, that's, that's a form of control, all right? Like that's like, that's, that's controlling a situation and, 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 and not letting it flow naturally, so to speak. So with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, it's kind of like, okay, you know what, I release all attachment, I release holding on to something out of fear and I let it grow, all right? Like sometimes when you let things go, it will grow. That's what I'm getting through for you. And with that growth, I feel like you have to focus a lot on the High Priestess, which is a lot about your intuition, which is a lot about your emotions, observing a lot, using your sixth sense best way possible, collecting information without, uh, without Mm, how do I say this without jumping to conclusions quickly, you know, like, okay, you got that information or you understood this out of a text or whatever, then still sit on it, you know, like sit on it, think about it and move after you, your intuition has decided like, okay, do that or do this. And that is going to help you as well. All right. Oof. I have the injustice here so this might be a contract all right this might be a legal situation as well this is this is something that is not going in your favor which we can see here something that you have been stressed about wishing for but it's not going into your favor but there's also an, an imbalance in your life it could be with relationships it could be with partners it could be with uh, with yourself, maybe you're focusing too much in one area of your life, whereas you 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 come short at other areas of your life. And and spirit is here saying with this justice card, like everything needs equ equality, everything needs an equilibrium. All right, like don't put all your hopes, all your eggs in one basket, so to speak. All right, like don't bet on one horse. That kind of energy, and it can be different for every one of you. So take the message however it resonates but you are going to trust your intuition more and more and, and, and it's because something is not going in your favor that's when you are going to trust your intuition and say like oh, I already felt that actually but I did not move on it and it is going to deepen your bond with spirit bond with your intuition bond with with your own higher knowledge whereas you don't need other people's opinion you don't need other people's um you know affirmation or confirmation or whatever so whatever the situation is at the end it is going to make you win yourself and your own intuitive ability on judging a situation because whatever it, this was you have misjudge the situation is what I get. So let's see where this is going. Gosh. I'm letting spirit speak right to me. All right, let's see. You know, sometimes our intuition is telling us things that we don't like to hear, you know, that we don't like to hear at all. <clears throat> and we discard that message, we discard our intuition, we discard the, the, the memories or the information that is already within our soul. And whatever this situation is, it is going to bring you closer, all right? You, you, you may need to... If you have a lot of headaches and if you have pain in your um, third eye, you may need to declutter that, all right? Ooh, wow. Okay, whomever you're dealing with, good Lord. So you've seen the red flags from this individual. Like, don't tell me you haven't because this person has, has first of all, they have a very, they have a tie with you, all right? And they can lure you in any given moment. I'm gonna be honest with you. With the devil card, you can get swayed off, swept, swept off your feet. 
any given time but this person has a lot of secrets a lot of dark side to them a lot of shadow side to them and they are very immature in the way that they communicate this could be a very sexual relationship that you're having someone that you that that i i, I get like something with like creeping out in the middle of the night kind of uh, situation this might be also this individual you know like that creeps out in the middle of the night or hits you a text in the middle of the night and very awkward moments all right so be very mindful of this i don't like this energy this is someone that uh, likes to keep you in the dark likes to keep you stuck likes to keep you like they don't like to give you any clarity all right they they always point out negative things all right just to hide their own negativity negative uh, aspects or the negative um, patterns all right and this has been a cycle and this might be a very very strong um, tie that you're having with this individual where this individual might be trying to you know they know what you want and they won't give you because they know what you want so that's when the high priestess comes at play and says like okay you know what I need to change and yes you are a fire sign you need to go after what you want but but don't reveal your inner secrets or your inner emotions or what you want from this individual because what you want and what you ask for is exactly the point where they can they cannot give to you in order for you to uh, lose your grip lose your shit you know what i mean and become the, the queen in the reverse and you, you you can become like angry or frustrated or resentful and it's because you've pointed out what you wanted but that's what you don't need to do like let them figure out their, their own let there be a mystery around you you know what i mean let there be a mystery around you four of swords reverse and the and the two of wands so this person really likes to keep you a bit in this bubble of like you know how do i say it is like i'm getting threatening some kind of a threatening energy from this as in like if you don't if you don't behave like this then i'll be i'll be gone you know that kind of energy and it's very it's almost very brutal is what I'm getting and this person is always restlessly thinking about how to how to change the situation into their own hands I'm just a messenger all right let's see what else we got for Leo Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this is not this is not the love that you want to receive. This is this is being a bit rejected, like feeling like there is unrequited love. Definitely a lot of red flags, so be very, very cautious with this, is what I get. Yeah, don't chase this individual for your ego. Alright, like try to figure out if this is truly love or if it's lust. It's really like, is it love or lust? Because the ego, the tower is saying that there is going to be a rude awakening. And we just talked about those red flags. These red flags are, you know, the tower. You know what I mean? This is definitely the tower. There's definitely a change here that is going to happen. You got the queen of pentacles. And I feel like this is going to flush away all that is not serving you any longer. This is going to bring a lot of destruction in order for you to become more stable. All right. This is the queen of pentacles. This is a very nurturing, stable energy. Uh, very confident. Not as confident as the queen of wands. But she's even more confident actually. Because she got everything going on. You know, she got... She got her finances on track, career, kids, family, what, whatever, you name it. She can nurture herself and others as well. So whatever this huge change is, it is going to bring you a lot of grounding energy. You're going to be way more um, practical in making decisions as well. You got the six of cups in the reversed. 
So there might be a lot of issues from the past. Past issues are going to come up back to the surface. This is definitely also accorded, like, um, this has to do with the retro, Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. All right, this is Scorpio energy. This is the Six of Cups. So a lot of things that were hidden from the past or patterns that were not very not fixed are going to come back to the surface so that there can be a clean slate and and there is going to be a better foundation and with this queen of pentacles you are going to know exactly how to make those changes in this relationship or within yourself got the magician the fool and the Ace of Swords. Okay, this is good. So, there is a huge change that I'm seeing here because at the end of the day, I feel like this person is going to realize that it's it's not worth it. it all this manipulation and darkness and shadow energy, they may be going through that. It might have been a very long cycle for them to realize what they are doing because with the moon, they might be delusive about what they are doing. All right, you get what I mean? Like th that's when you are so tied up with this devil toxic energy that you're not even able to see your own, like what you are bringing to the table and what you're bringing to the table could be very toxic, but they may not have been aware of that until maybe they, they're starting to get like a lot of nightmares or dreams about this, uh, about their behavior and how bad it is, which makes them realize that they need to change their ways. Two wants is, you know, seeing what what they have been doing and then making a change according to that. And that change that they're making is is transformational. All right, this is very transformational. It's magician, the fool, and the ace of swords. This is someone who is now finally going to be able to use all their energy in the right way and you know love in the right way speak in the right way uh, build in the right way take action in the right way that's all the magician you know what i mean but the most the biggest emphasis here is on the truth speaking clearly speaking the truth and cutting through all their deceptive behavior and their negative patterns because they are now realizing it so with this fool, this is like a brand new beginning, a, a brand new opportunity to have victory in this relationship when it comes to communication. So it's, it's, it's a very, very positive transformation that this person is going through. I see it in a lot of readings, actually. A lot of things are a bit upside down and up in the air, but I see in the, on the other side that people are really seeing through their own um they're seeing through their own errors all right and sometimes it needs it, it takes a tower moment it takes like a abrupt awakening which is not comfortable that's why i say that like you need to ground yourself as much as possible and also like keep your energy also still up because it is going to bring a very positive change like within this situation there's going to be victory there's going to be a brand new slate like the slate is going to be cleansed away and definitely this individual is going to realize their own pattern and their own cycle and nine of pentacles here is showing me that they're going to be very uh, you know now they're going to be confident because maybe in the past their fear was coming from um, insecurities because the moon is insecurity and the and the devil is fear so there was a fear attached to insecurities and with the nine of pentacles there's going to be a lot of you know okay, I can do this, you know what I mean? I, I don't have to fear love, I don't have to fear to speak up, I don't have to fear to make this decision, you know, be a free rider, you know? So, that was your reading, my dear Leo. I am going to continue with the He Says, She Says spread. The link is down in the description box below this video. Drop a like if this resonated with you, share a comment, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so, so much. Bye.